The community knows this young lady. She said, you know, Alpha, when you said, are you going to be able to sing the national anthem at the community Martin Luther King breakfast this year? She said, you've never asked me for my bio. Well, she never did send it to me. I said, that's all right. I got it anyway. She said, I knew something was up. You're sneaky. <laughs> But Yolanda Treese, she's a local celebrity. She's a singer, actress, and activist. She's well known on the regional stage and has expanded those horizons beyond East Tennessee now. Ms. Treese has been a consistent presence at the Martin Luther King Breakfast since its inception, frequently performing as well as leading the group and lifting every voice in the city. She's a native of Marstown. My cousin actually taught her. She said, that young lady's going somewhere. That was one of my former students. As well as she always says about Brandon Moore. <laughs> she has performed for nearly 30 years in local theater. Memorial shows include Hairspray, Walk Don't Ride, Jesus Christ Superstar, Tommy Into the Woods, A Christmas Carol, Big River. One of my favorites she appeared in was Sister Act and The Miracle Worker. In addition to stage work, Ms. Treese is well known for her gospel performances. She is a frequent presence at the annual from African Appalachian Celebration and lends her voice in support of nonprofit and church events across the area. How I originally met Yolanda when I first moved here from New York City, she was the mother of Trevor. And Trevor was in the elementary school. He's now finished the University of Memphis and he's out in Hawaii and prospering and is a fine young man. Without further ado, please come for Yolanda Treese. She's the artist in the Community Award this year. And it says, but let justice roll down like water. Please come forward, Yolanda. going to get her back because she's like don't get don't get me back <laughs> did the other recipients want to say something being a theater person I've always got something to say <laughs> scripted um, thank you um, to whomever decided made these choices Leanne is like my big sister we've been congratulations to you all because I'm a crier too and I won't take long I promise um, I am so honored I don't feel worthy I don't feel worthy of this because I'm not where I want to be just yet. I'm not accomplished yet. I still have goals and no basketball team and youth and even seasoned people. <laughs> it doesn't matter what age you are. If you don't attain those goals, if you don't reach them, you're not where you want to be just yet. Still working on that with Jesus. So, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll hurry up. I'm the type of person, I kind of speak my mind as I'm getting older. I try to do it with tact. <laughs> but if anyone in this room, if you help to mold and shape me, if you know me, even if you don't know me, if you've made an impact, like the coaches, I've known them forever and a day. Dr. Perry, you allowed me to follow my dream to Chicago. So I thank you for that. I started singing at the basketball games, the national anthem at the basketball games in 1980 something. <laughs> Six, four, something like that. So if any of you in this room, outside these walls, around the globe, if you have, now catch all this, loved me, disliked me, encouraged me, especially prayed for me, acknowledged me, used me, spoiled me, 
utilized me, helped me, supported me, been disappointed by me, <laughs> approved of me, laughed at me, and laughed with me. I thank you. Yeah. I'm almost done. You can't have a journey without steps, whether literally or figuratively speaking. And guess what? My journey is still ongoing. And guess what else? Whether individually or collectively, our journey is still ongoing. We haven't finished what he needs us to do, and we haven't finished what he needs us to do. Um, I always taught my son, from when he was just little, don't quit even when you get tired. Even when you feel like quitting, well, even at my age, he has to remind me, Mama, remember what you told me? Yes, I, uh, thanks, son, thank you. So he reminds me, there isn't anything that you can't do. There isn't anything you can't set your mind to. Impossible is nothing. Yeah, I stole that from Nike you know, like years ago, but impossible is nothing. And I'm almost finished, I promise. My goal is to continually show Christ's love, even on those bad days, when I don't feel like smiling, when I don't feel like crying, I mean, when I feel like crying, which is most of the time, but to show his love and then to encourage um, someone else. But also, never stop dreaming. Sometimes your dreams, you put them on the back burner and you may not be happy, but it's only for a season. So never stop dreaming. And in that, never stop dreaming, never stop believing, and never stop doing. At 54, life changes, stepping out on faith. But I can't quit. I taught my son I can't quit. And what kind of parent would I be if I shut down and sat down? So whatever age, I don't care if you're six or 600, don't stop. So I'm gonna leave you with this. I don't feel no wasted. I've come too far from where I started from. Say that. Nobody told me the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Amen.